So, you want to get started with Mixcraft. Hey guys, welcome back, Touched by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back. Actually, we're not back. We've never been in here before. I'm so used to saying back, but here we go. Uh, we're in Mixcraft, which is the uh, DAW that I use, the digital audio workstation. Uh, this is how I create the music that I create. Every piece of music on the channel has been, you know, created with Mixcraft. I love it. I've been using it for years. Uh, Mixcraft uh, 8.1 Pro Studio is what I have. Yes, it does cost money. It's not that expensive, though. You can go and check out the website for more information um, about it. It is not, it's not unfortunately on Linux, um, so I, that's why I do have a dual boot. I mentioned that before in the comment section, um, but it is available um, on Windows, and I'm pretty sure it's available on Mac as well. But you can go and check it out. Check out the website down in the description. Look at all that good stuff. Um, so I want to get started with a little bit of an overview video today. So if we look at this, this is pretty much how it opens up. Actually, it opens up like this. And you'll see this screen right here. And you have the option to change uh, input tracks, audio tracks, send tracks, and all that stuff. You don't have to worry about all that right now. Pretty much what we can do is we just hit OK. And um, it'll bring us into Mixcraft's default GUI. Um, over here on the left hand side you'll have all of the tracks that you can use so we have uh, one two three four audio tracks and one um, virtual instrument track a virtual instrument track is pretty much how you create music so like if you were playing guitar in real life this is where you would go to change the instrument so you could play an instrument so as you can see it says acoustic piano there so if I go ahead and I actually have a MIDI keyboard set up next to my my uh, computer if I go ahead and play some notes Um, you can see that it will play through the acoustic piano. I can hit this little button right here, this little piano, to change the instrument, and I can um, I can just scroll on down here and find a new instrument that I want to use. Maybe I want to use an alto sax. We'll click that guy, and we'll just get some saxophone. So, which is nice. So we can do this. They have like so many instruments. You can see this is all, every single one. They have 1,251 instruments that come with Mixcraft. Now, you can also get your own VSTs and, and have new instruments that you put in. This is the VSTi instruments category right here. I have 29. Um, some of these do come with uh, um, uh, Mixcraft. They give you some to start off with, uh, especially if you have Pro. I don't. I think the different tiers have less or, or different uh, VSTs in them, but since I have Pro, it has more than the regular version, but... This, if you import VSTs yourself, then you can also have instruments in here. So, for instance, I have a lot of things that I've uh, imported myself. So, I have this AGML2, which is a free guitar uh, VST, which is absolute, um, absolutely amazing. It's the best, it's one of the, actually, probably the best VST um, I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, it's really, really nice. This isn't, this, isn't a, this isn't a video for this VSD, so we'll, we'll move on for now. Um, you can also hit favorite on these by hitting this little, uh, this little star. You can see if I scroll down, I have uh, the Omni Sampler, which is pretty much like a drum, uh, like a drum type thing. So if I hit edit here, I can, um, I can open up the settings for whatever instrument this is. So it's kind of like a, like a drum pattern thing that I use a lot. Um, and then there's uh, Pianissimo, which uh, Mixcraft does come with if you have uh, Pro. I think it comes with... I think it comes with other tiers of Mixcraft too, but I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. Um, but we can go ahead and click that, then hit edit, and we can open up Pianissimo's uh, GUI. Now this piano sounds much better than Mixcraft's default piano. Um, so I'm just gonna, <laughs> I always use, I always use Pianissimo because it sounds so great, but. Um, and you can, all the different ones, you do the same thing, so if you uh, have a VST that I've uh, put into my VST folder called Synth1, which is one of my favorite VSTs ever, uh, if I edit, you can see it opens up the GUI. I'm probably going to be doing a, a tutorial on Synth1 uh, in the future, maybe some sound design tutorials, because there's not enough on YouTube, but that's for another day. Alright, so if we, uh, if we close, actually we can scroll down here too, and this is the same type of thing, um, this is the virtual instruments category, so if I was in... If I was in uh, acoustic uh, instruments, you can see I can go over here and just pick all the instruments that are uh, that are in here. So this is pretty much the same thing as scrolling. It's just not a super long list. Um, obviously, velocity. You can change the velocity. You can make it so that the velocity starts at a higher place, so it doesn't go all the way down or all the way up. Transpose. This is so that if I'm playing up here. I can transpose it by negative 12, and I'm playing the same exact notes. I have not moved my hand at all. 
That's pretty much what it does. So, uh, self-explanatory, kind of, if you know what the word transpose means. <laughs> um, we can pan it to the right, to the left. To the left tip. Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> we can put that back to zero, and we can also turn the volume up and down as well. So, uh, pretty simple, straightforward stuff here. We can add effects, but we'll get to that in a second. Let me close this out. We have mute. Um, so, if I'm, I'm playing keys right now, if I mute, it's, it's muted. You can't hear anything. You can also solo tracks. So, let's say, um, let's actually go ahead and uh, open up Pianissimo real quick, and I'll play a little a little tune. If we hit this little button down here, this is the record button. We have to hit record every time we want to record anything. Um, so hit that. We have a metronome that counts, which is really nice. I'll go play some chords really quickly. Which is nice. So we can hit stop to stop the recording. Um, and now we have a clip that we can go ahead and play, play around with. So if I play this, you can hear that it's the same thing we just recorded, which is nice. So the way we're going to go ahead and fix this up is uh, is, is cut this. So we're going to drag this end over here. And then we're going to drag this end over here. And we'll right click it and hit mix to audio clip. Now what this is going to do is if I double click this clip right here, you can see we have all this dead space. This, this piano roll is going to pop open. Let me just drag it up a little bit. Um, we have all this dead space. So the first one, two, three, four bars three bars actually, three bars, and then this last bar is unused because that's not where we record. It was just recording because I hit the record button, but I didn't start playing until these notes right here. So if I if I right-click this, hit mix the new clip, you can see it will cut all that space away that we don't need into just what we have clipped up here. So I can move that over, and now that is the four bars that we need. One, two, three, four bars. You can see this is one bar, this is two bars, three bars, four bars. Now if you don't know anything about music theory, that's fine. Uh, I'm, I don't know almost anything at all I just I just make the music I just make it sound how I want it to sound and that's it so you don't have to worry about not knowing music theory it definitely does help with like uh, looking things up for instance if you don't know what a uh, C diminished 7 is then it's going to be difficult to just look that up but um, it gets easier once you start doing it so don't worry about it now you can see if I zoom in here to these notes every one of these blue notes corresponds with a note that's on the piano Obviously, so what we can do is I can just select all of these and go up to MIDI editing, choose quantize to quantize these to make them perfectly on beat. They're not they're not actually bad, but my point is if you're trying to get them 100%, you can see I have a little bit of humanization right here, which is nice because that's great for you know specific genres like jazz. Um, but if you're going for something that's not like that and you want to be perfect, and select everything, M MIDI editing, quantize. And we can change the note type here, so we can we can snap it to 16 notes. We can snap it to whole notes, half notes, fourth notes, eighth notes. Um, and pretty much what that is really quickly is if I were to zoom out here, um, you can see that now each one of these bars is a whole note. So if I go from one to two, then two to three, then three to four, then four to five, that's a whole note. If I zoom in a little bit more, it'll break in half, and then in fourths, then in eighths, then in... 16th, then in super small, 32. All right, so that's pretty much what that is. It just has, you know, s the smaller the number is, um, the the quicker the note will be. So if I go ahead and I just, you can see it's, it's super quick. Um, but if I select all these, once again, quantize, uh, strength 100, hit OK on that. And then we can just drag these backwards. And now this is going to clip out to the, to the back there because they're not all the same length. So if we go ahead and just... Cut that out, hit delete, select that and delete, and then just move the loop end back to five. And we can select all these, pull them out, stretch them where they need to go. Now if we play this, you'll see the notes go all the way out, and they're 100% syncopated. 